What did I just do? Why is the cloth on the floor? Have you ever wondered how fashion designers create a 3D fashion? In this video, I'm going to be diving into the world of Clue 3D. I am a total beginner. I have never used the platform before, and we're going to be going on this journey together. Hi, if this is the first time seeing me, my name is Priscilla. I'm a Nigerian women's wear designer based in the UK. And in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I use Clue 3D to create digital fashion for my current project. I'm going to be showing you guys how I create an account, show you what the pricing is like because I know it's not free, and then just show you all the tools that it comes with. And hopefully at the end I have an outcome to show off. Will I succeed? I do not know, but I hope you guys are curious just as I am. And if you'd like to see how I use this platform for the first time, share any tricks, tips, learning curves, challenges. So if you're someone who's trying it out for the first time, you have a total beginner's guide to help you through a similar experience. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account on the website. You can just tell it's giving new age, it's giving matrix, it's giving digital fashion. <laughs> The pricing here that I'm seeing is if you're a student, you pay $25 per month. Individual, you pay $50 per month. If you're an enterprise or like an academic educational body, um, they just says contact us. So maybe they'll give you guys like a special pricing. But I've had a little snoop around the website and I have to download it as a software that runs on my laptop. I'm hoping that the Mac that I use has the capability to carry the software but that's why we're here we're learning together so before you can even start a free trial you need to create an account you need to leave some kind of payment details the money wouldn't come out of the account straight away because you get 14 days free in the trial period but um, I can cancel before that time if I don't want to keep the subscription running it's asking me if I want to download on a Mac or on a Windows I'm downloading on a Mac and I think it's just going to start the download on the back end so the plan is to play around with the interface and then create a 3d fashion garment for a bridal gown this is one of three looks that I'm going to be releasing like a campaign um, campaign imagery for in February so I thought it'd be great to make 3d fashion to go along with that I was successfully able to download the software on my laptop so I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like and if it's something that would be quite intuitive to use because I've never used this before I think if I have a snoop around and I still don't quite understand how to use it I might go on YouTube you know YouTube University and watch some tutorials and videos just to get a sense of how it works so let's just Let's, let's get into this. So I have 13 days left to figure this thing out and make up my mind if I want to keep the software, but I'm just going to go ahead and go in. So this is what the interface looks like. You have two windows, one to the left and one to the right. It says mod list here and 2D pattern window. So let's try to create an avatar. I'm just basing this off of my intuition and my gut. If you have used this software, if you are familiar with it, have any tips, leave a comment down below so me, I can learn too. So I'm going to go into library here and then click on avatar, uh, female v2 arrangement. And then I double click on this blank one and just scroll down and I see a bunch of avatars here. I'm going to click on this one, see what it does. Ooh, my avatar has loaded, nice. So I now see a female form on this screen here. So I'm guessing when you create the pattern pieces goes on the avatar to the left. It's funny because I'm so used to working with Illustrator to create the detailed patterns. So I'm trying to see if there are any similarities, but nope, they're totally different. Totally, totally different. Let me see if I can change um, maybe her hair to give her a bun. Do you want to give her a... A side part bun maybe okay so I like her hair now I just want to point out two things before I continue you need a strong machine and you need somewhat of good internet connection I'm just going to change the pose of my model and so you click on arrangement this blank folder here and you scroll down you can find poses here so I'm going to change her pose oh, some of these poses are actually funny <laughs> Something actually funny, so maybe this one. 
And to change um, a pose, you drag it into like this, into this um, panel here like this. And okay, and then the pose changes. So that looks really cute. Uh, do I want to keep it as that or do I just want her hands down this one maybe? Okay, so I finally figured out where to find the, the beginning of where to create patterns. So if I go into the very top bar, there is a top menu that says File, Edit, 3D, 2D. And if I click on 2D, there's a menu that appears that says, and then if I click on Create, it gives me different shapes that I can create. I can create like an ellipse, spiral, rectangle. And um, one of the videos I've watching, why well, I watched, the lady started off with a rectangle and then edited the shape of the pattern. It's kind of like creating pattern by hand, but with slightly different rules. So I'm just going to click on that and see if I can draw in the rectangle shape here. Okay, so we have a rectangle shape. It's now figuring out how to edit it, and it's funny because it's it appears on the um on my avatar at the same time oh what did i just do why is the cloth on the floor okay oh, so i'm just going to have a play around see what i can create this video is not about fully um showing you how to do stuff it's just me figuring out how to use this app i think i'm gonna do a separate video once i have a better understanding of how this software works so i'm gonna do a separate video if you guys would like to see that let me know so we're just showing you how to actually create like a digital pattern i think that might be a separate project in itself but let me have a play around and i'll show you guys what i create if i'm able to create anything <laughs> She did it. She did it. It actually worked. I mean, it's not perfect, but considering I've only been using this software for 12 days. <laughs> well I was done. Dreaming of this avatar. That's how bad it got. Like. <gasps> wow. Ave Maria. That's what you look like right now. <laughs> the last two weeks of using Clo has been a mixture of things, both good and interesting. I've had moments where I wasn't sure what I was doing, which forced me to actually, you know, learn and educate myself. And that is a good thing. Honestly, this year, one thing I've told myself is I want to try out new things and step into new territories. Even though the garment is not perfect, I can see errors straight away, like the strap is not perfect, the zip on the back doesn't sit quite right. I honestly would have loved to add a bit more detail in terms of like the finishing around the hems and maybe have the neckline a bit more flattering on the avatar's body. But considering the fact that I only started using that software two weeks ago, I'm proud of myself. I'm sorry, I am very proud of myself. Outside of simply drawing the pattern and have it show on your avatar, there are other factors that you have to keep in mind if you are doing 3D modeling or 3D fashion. Are you going to be working with the avatar's measurements or are you going to be working with your measurements? There is a way you can check the avatar's measurement. There is a tool on the left side towards the bottom, like a tape measure, that if you click on the different parts of the avatar, you can see where the measurements are. And you can base your pattern off of that and create your size chart off of that. However, I know you can go in and use your own measurements. I haven't tried out that part yet, but I know it's something that is possible. So also have to think about 
the positioning of patterns like the front has to sit on the front of the avatar the back has to go on the back that's something i was very confused starting out because i just made all the pattern and i was like why is it not simulating the way i want it to but you are able to pull pattern pieces to the back on the 3d side pull it to the back flip it around so everything aligns in a way that makes sense also stitching the right sides together is important when i mean the right side is are you joining the side seams are you joining the center back seams are you joining the shoulder seams like the way you would kind of assemble garments if you were making it physically those some of those rules apply when it comes to 3d modeling but have fun just try it out for yourself and see if this is something that you know you would want to continue doing in the future i know for myself I'm, i plan to keep the subscription going because there's just so much i don't know and there's just so much i want to learn but i hope you guys enjoyed watching and coming on this journey with me give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed if you're familiar with chloe and you have any tips or ideas leave a comment down below this year i'm all about fashion tech so if that's your jam stick around but until my next video have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye